Yo, what up? It's your boy Maul from Obese for MachineMasters.com. And I'm back for another Mobile Tips Tuesday. This week, we're talking about the keyboard and audio apps. I um, want to let you guys, show you guys how I integrate audio apps into the Beatmaker. And I told you guys in the video before that I use the keyboard that's in Beatmaker versus using any external keyboard and I'm going to show you how I mid, how, uh, MIDI that up and play right off of the pad. So there are two ways to open up audio apps in Beatmaker. All right. The first way I'm going to show you, I, I'm going to close out of Beatmaker and I'm going to click on audio bus. All right. Now, what is Audio Bus? Audio Bus is like Rewire in Reasons. For those that may be familiar with uh, Propeller Head Reasons, it allows you to connect with other DAWs, Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic, etc. And what happens when you connect Rewire to those DAWs, what happens, Reasons become a slave to that DAW of whatever you're using. So this is kind of similar to this. Uh, it allows me to uh, open up apps to run inside of Beatmaker 2. All right. So uh, the first thing I would do is I would hit the input button. And let's see, I'm just pick an instrument. Let's see here. Let's see open up sample tank all right open up sample tank let sample tank do its thing all right all right okay then what i would do i will click on this button here open up audio bus and i don't know if you guys was able to see me press on that button let me try it again let me do this so this button here this look slot there this is the audio bus audio bus so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit this button here go back to audio bus and then i'm going to go to the output click on the output click on beat maker launch beat maker and then voila so what happens once i do that once i once i click on uh open up a uh, beat maker in the audio bus what would what, what happen you'll see that it makes a track it made a track for the sample for the sample tank all right okay so now we got that already so then what I would do I will go to my keyboard which I already have just first what I would what, what, what you would need to do you need to make sure that the MIDI setup is right so I have my MIDI through don't need the clocks in just the MIDI through yeah I'm gonna just click it just click them all the MIDI through all of that is highlighted close that out open up the keyboard and this is what happens there we go. all right and then you will see that I have the sample tank coming through my keyboard All right, so that's one way to open up apps in Beatmaker. Another way is, I'm going to close up all of that. The way that I like to uh, open up apps is hit the audio app button, scroll to my instrument, open up sample tank. Make sure it's good to go here. All right, go back, go back to my keyboard. And there you have it. Now, just repeat the same steps. If I want to open up another app, so I go back to instrument, audio apps, just say I want to open up 
the Alina synth string string instrument. Uh, wait for it to open up and do its thing. All right, let's see. So what you do, you just basically repeat those steps. Open up an instrument, whatever you want, open up. Simple. Now, to record something that I like to do uh, when I'm recording. First, just say for instant, instance, I'm going to use <clears throat> this organ, right? So, what I want to do, I want to unarm the recording button on an actual track. Because what I want to do, I want to just be able to record the MIDI. So I can make sure I get, you know, have it nice and right and all that. And then I'll go back and record it. So that process looks like this. So. Alright. Now I have some other stuff that I should have muted in the back. But I didn't. Let me go back and mute it so y'all can hear what I did. All right. So. All right. So that's, let's just say, for instance, that's what I wanted. Uh, that sounds good. I want to go with that. So what I would do, I will on the record button here and hit record. And then you can see that what I played here on the keyboard is now recorded here. I can go in and edit it, whatever I choose to want to do, yada, yada, yada. But that is uh, what I played and is now recorded. Then I can go delete that and just open up another instrument, so on and so forth. And uh, yeah. That's how I use other apps in uh, BeatMaker. Uh, again, um, some people choose to use Audio Bus. A lot of people like to just use Audio Bus uh, to bring in other apps. I like to do it in here. Uh, some producers that use BeatMaker, they like to use an external uh, MIDI controller. I like to use the piano in the BeatMaker because... I don't want to be having to carry all that extra stuff. <laughs> all right. So that's how you open up other apps in the BeatMaker 2 app. Uh, again, man, if you guys got any questions, please leave them in the comments or all my contact information will be in the descriptions. Hit me up. Um, I check the comments daily. So if you got something for your boy, holler at me next week. I'm going to be going to be answering another question and that question is how do I make my drums sound so crisp in Beatmaker 2? And I'm gonna show you guys uh, my little secret on what I do to get my drums to bang in Beatmaker 2. This is your boy Mar from Beats Mobile Tips Tuesday machinemaster.com grace and peace